Rachel Sanders. Welcome to my training facility in Atascadero, California. Today we're going to be talking about running A-frames and how I teach them. I have struggled for the past seven years trying to find a method to teach running contacts to the majority of dogs. Over the last seven years I have used a variety of methods and have been both successful and unsuccessful with all. I believe that as agility progresses through the years, running A-frames are becoming more common and people are desiring that their dogs do them. We're not so keen on our dogs stopping in a two-on-two-off position, whether they have weight shift or no weight shift. And we find that as the years progress with training, our dogs become slower and less confident about coming down and stopping in that position. The first dog I personally tried to teach a running A-frame to was Fable, and that was nearly seven years ago. When I started training my A-frame with my youngest dog, Stewie, three years ago, I had learned such a lot about what I didn't want to do. However, I hadn't really hit upon what I did want to do. Training progressed very rapidly and very successfully until I started to sequence and I found that I was having problems with her lifting her head and scoping where she was wanting to go next. After much thought about what I could do next, I tried a variety of things. Her initial training had not been using anything other than a Cavaletti jump set seven to eight feet out from the base of the A-frame. I never used stride regulators with her. However, I have used them with other dogs and been both successful and unsuccessful. I decided then to go to a foot target to location train my A-frame, to teach her to go to a location, and I really didn't mind how she managed to get there as long as her feet went into the location area that I had given her on the A-frame. During the location training, I used a foot target, but I found with the foot target, even though I had made it quite big, two, and a, two feet by one and a half feet, I found that Stewie liked to hit the edge of the target and I wasn't getting her feet into the center of the target as I wanted. Through my career, I do a lot of traveling, a lot of sitting at airports, a lot of sitting on planes. And I find myself thinking about dog training methodologies, what's working, what isn't working, what I'd like to train, what I'd like to change. And I had been using PVC as a straightening guide for my dog walk for dogs that were curling off to the sides. And I was thinking about using this in some way to enhance the A-frame training that I was doing. I got off a plane, drove three hours from the airport, went to my hardware store and produced what I now use as my PVC A-frame box. Although the method that I now use is in its infancy, I am very happy with the results. I personally train approximately 50 dogs with this method and they're at various stages of completion. They are a variety of dogs. Some are, have never learned anything else but to run on an A-frame. Some are two on two off dogs that we really believe are not that happy about the behavior that they're being asked to do. Some are retrains because the handlers have compromised their two on two off so much that they are stopping them in training and not stopping them in competition. So far, we are having great success with all. They are still competing and successfully completing the majority of their A-frames. 